this one will be our next topic. The last two of the types, the linear and the Bernoulli. So let's go. So linear, this is the fourth one. A linear differential equation has the general form ax dy dx, bx y cx, which can be written in its standard form. So here, I would want you to focus on the standard form of the equation, wherein the ax is um, removed. Everything is divided by ax so that dy over dx is left alone. This is called linear in y. If I ask you guys, what is the independent variable in here? x, the one in the denominator is the independent variable. So what is the general form of the solution? So this is the general solution. y, e to the px dx equals integral of qx, e to the integral of px dx, dx plus c. Pero do take note, those e raised to px dx, puro sila integrating factor, e to the integral of px dx. So let's go to the problem. By the way, so you, take, you took a screenshot or you copied these two. This one is also a standard form, but compare this with the first one. Anong nasa numerator dito? y over x. Here, it's x over y. So, nagpalit siya. Earlier, it was px multiplied by y. And this is qx. So, this one is linear in x. The previous slide, this is linear in y. So, the solution would also differ. Diba? y yung nandito becomes x now. And then, integral of py dy, qy, dy dy, and then siya. So it basically just follows, given, okay. So in this case, when you check, it's not um, variable separable, definitely. It's not kasi magkasama in one line. Is it um, homogeneous? Definitely not kasi first degree, second degree. Is it exact? Let's see. Partial of M with respect to Y is what? Partial of n with respect to x is 1. Therefore, it's not exact as well. Okay, so to test if it's linear, x is multiplied to two variables. If I divide everything by dy, ay baka mas mahirap, dalawa katabi niya. But if I divide everything by dx, baka mas madali. So, 2y minus 8x squared plus x dy over Step number one is um, and test for linearity. So we do convert this to the standard form. dy over dx is plus, sorry. Qx, tama. And then, what is the solution? Y, E, to the Three. integral of px dx is equal to the integral of Qx, E, to the integral of px dx dx plus c, right? So, that means this one, we have to rewrite this. So, plus 2 over x, y equals 8x. So, I divided everything by x and then, you know, move them around. Okay? Step number 2. IF, what does IF stand for earlier? I said this. The integrating factor. What is PX again? 2 over X. Very good. What is Q of X? 8X. Therefore, this one is E 
to the integral of 2 over x dx, which is t, to ln x, which is t, ln x squared, which after simplifying is x squared, right? Ang step number three natin is the solution itself. And then the solution, what form would it take? It would take y times the integrating factor equals the integral of qx times the integrating factor with respect to x plus c. So what is y? It's just any y. What is if? It's x squared. What is q of x? 8x multiplied by x squared dx plus c. So 8x cubed magiging 2x to the 4. Two x squared plus c over x squared. So either of the two solutions. Let's go to the example. Okay, so in this case, maybe let's try to divide everything by x. x4 plus 2y minus x dy over dx is 0. Is it the standard form already? Not yet. What is the standard form? Okay, so when we change this to the standard form, that is going to be your step number 1. And then test for linearity. Minus 2 over x y equals x to the third power. So is it linear or not? Step number two. What is the px? Negative. 2 over x. What is q of x? x cubed. So e to the integral of negative 2x dx is e to the negative 2 ln x or e to the ln x to the negative 2 or simply. So ito siya, the integrating factor. The reason why I'm encircling that again is because Ang solution ko is y times the integrating factor equals the integral of qx integrating factor dx plus c. So this one, the general solution would take the form of what? So, if I were to simplify this, then ayoko ng negative na powers. I could either have this or x to the 4 over 2 plus cx squared. So, that is linear.